Basilica I Temple Expiatory de la Sagrada Familia Catalan, Sa Efemili. Spanish, Templo Expiatorio de la Sagrada Familia, Indonesian, Basilica and Church of the Ministry of the Holy Family is a large unfinished Roman Catholic church in Barcelona and designed by the Spanish architect Antony Gordi 1852-1926. Gordi's work on the building is part of a UNESCO World Cultural Heritage Site and in November 2010 Pope Benedict XVI consecrated and declared the building a minor basilica, distinguishing it from the cathedral, the seat of the bishop. 1. Architecture construction of the Sagrada Familia Basilica was started in 1882 by architect Francisco Paula de Villa, while Gordi became involved in 1883 after Francisco stepped down as principal architect. Since taking over the project, Gordi adapted the basilica's architectural and constructional styles to his own, combining Gothic architectural styles and Art Nouveau arches. Gordy dedicated the last years of his life to this project, and by the time of his death at the age of 73 in 1926, less than a quarter of the project had been completed. Construction of the Sagrada Familia Basilica developed slowly, relying on private donations and was interrupted by the civil war in Spain when work on the project in the 1950s was about to resume. Construction passed halfway in 2010 with some of its biggest challenges remaining, including a project completion date planned for 2026, to coincide with the centennial anniversary of Gordy's death. 2. Brief history The Basilica of the Sagrada Familia was the inspiration of a bookseller, Josep Maria Bocabella, founder of the Spiritual Association of St. Joseph Worshippers. After a visit to the Vatican in 1872, Bocabella returned from Italy with the aim of building a church inspired by the one in Loreto. Construction of the main dome section of the church, funded by donations, began March 19, 1882, to coincide with the St. Joseph Festival, based on the design of architect Francisco de Paula del Villa, who planned a Gothic revival church in standard form. The main dome was completed prior to Villa's resignation on March 18, 1883, when Gordy accepted design responsibility, which he eventually radically changed. Anthony Gaudi began working for the church in 1883 and was appointed chief architect in 1884. 3. Design The architectural style of the Sagrada Familia is variously equated with late Spanish Gothic, Catalan Art Nouveau for Modernism and Nucentism or Catalan. While the Sagrada Familia fell within the Art Nouveau period, Nicolaus Pevsner demonstrated that, along with Charles Rennie Mackintosh in Glasgow, Gordy's Art Nouveau style carried far beyond its usual application as surface decoration. Floor plan in this design for the Sagrada Familia, Gaudi planned the construction of 18 towers representing the 12 apostles, the Virgin Mary, the four evangelists and the tallest of all towers, Jesus Christ. Gaudi designed the Sagrada Familia to have three building facades, namely, Nativity, Passion, and Glory. The Nativity facade is located to the east on Marina Street East is where the sun rises. The sculptural details on the sides of this fade tell of the birth and life of Jesus. With this Gaudi wants to portray Jesus like the dawn. His birth brought hope of life to humans. On the west side of Sardinia Street, is the Passion Facade. As the sun sets in the west, this facade represents the end of Jesus's life. The door of the church is decorated with statues that tell the story of the Passion of Jesus on it. Right in the middle of the façade above the door, there is a very large statue of a cross. Around it, full of ornaments of fragments of the story of the way of the cross. Meanwhile, the south side of Mallorca Street is called the Glory Façade, which describes the works of Jesus' salvation in the world. 4. 
History of development. Regarding the basilica's lengthy construction period, Gordy stated, My client is in no hurry. Construction of the Sagrada Familia developed slowly, relying on private donations and was stopped due to the Spanish Civil War in 1936. During the Civil War, the Sagrada Familia building was damaged by Catalan anarchists. After the Civil War in Spain ended. In 1940, architects Francesc Quintana, Isida Puig Boada, Luis Bonnet I. Gary and Francesc Condena began work and continued construction by reconstructing the design with modern adaptations. Geordi Bonnet, son of Luis Bonnet, began introducing computers into the design and construction process in the 1980s. The use of computers in the design resulted in the rapid construction of the construction of the Sagrada Familia, which was previously estimated to last several hundred years, the dome in the center was completed in 2000. The design of the basilica today is a reconstructed version of the plan burned in the fire as well as a modern adaptation. In 2006 the concentration of development was on the intersection and supporting structures for the main tower which will become the main facade. In 2008, Several well-known Catalan architects advocated discontinuing the reconstruction in honor of Gordi's original design which, although incomplete and partially damaged. As of 2010 eight towers have been built, corresponding to the four apostles on the Nativity facade and another four on the Passion facade. As of now, the tower on Glory's facade is still under construction. When completed, the total height of the spire is 170 meters, 560 feet above sea level, being one meter less than the Montjuic Hill in Barcelona. Gaudi believes that his creation should not exceed God's creation. In 2010, the main roof was also installed so that the construction of the Sagrada Familia, which had not yet been completed, would be used for worship. Five development stages based on information from the official website of the Sagrada Familia. The stages of construction of the Sagrada Familia are divided into five stages. The stages of these stages are as follows: early stage 1883-1913, after taking over the project in 1883, due to the resignation of the original architect and Gaudi was given the trust to continue the design of the Sagrada Familia. The first step that Gaudi took was building the crypt, which was completed in 1889. The whole construction process went at a good pace thanks to contributions from the people of the city of Barcelona. Construction continues without any hindrance. Once when Antony Gaudi got a big enlightenment that had an impact on the design of the Sagrada Familia, he thought of doing a new, bigger job. He threw away the old neo-Gothic ideas and proposed a more monumental concept and renewal both in terms of form and structure and construction. Gordy's project consisted of a large church with a plan of a Latin cross and a high tower. It carried a great symbolic burden, both in architectural and sculptural forms, with the ultimate goal of being a cachistic explanation of the church's gospel teachings. In 1892 he began work on the foundations of the nativity facade. In 1894 the facade of the apse was completed and in 1899 the rosa door was one of the entrances to the church. Current stage 1986-2013 Since 1986, the sculptor Josep Maria Subirixfer has been creating sculptures for the passion facade, which have been executed in his style for the last 25 years. In 2000, the dome of the center and transept was built and work began on the facade of glory. In 2001 the main window of the passion facade was completed with the installation of stained glass dedicated to the resurrection of Jesus, work done by Joan Vila Grau. 7. Construction of the Sagrada Familia in Barcelona. 8. The four center columns were also completed this year. In 2002, the sculptor Josep Maria Subirix did work for the wall of the prophet located on the terrace of the facade of the Passion. And in 2005, 
The Ascension statue of the Lord was placed between the towers on the Passion facade. At the same time, the Eucharistic symbol of bread and wine was installed in the windows of the Passion facade by Japanese sculptor Etsuro Grove. In 2006 the choral engraving on Glory's facade was completed according to Gordy's original model. Then in 2010 a tower crowned by a cross was erected. This tower is dedicated to the Virgin Mary. This tower will be surrounded by four other towers, dedicated to the evangelist. Work that lasted until 2013 was the completion of the tower construction, which consisted of 16 towers and the completion of the glory facade. Six underground tunnel since 2013 the avenue high-speed train has passed near the sagrada familia via an underground tunnel running under the center of barcelona construction of the underground tunnel located under the basilica which began on march 26 2010 is considered controversial the spanish ministry of public works ministerio de fomento assured that this project will not have any impact on the church while the architects and engineers of the Sagrada Familia state otherwise, there is no guarantee that the tunnel will not affect the stability of the basilica. The Sagrada Familia Council, Patronate de la Sagrada Familia, and the Environmental Association Avenue Pel Littoral Avenue by the coast have carried out campaigns related to the EVA route, but to no avail. In October 2010, Tunnel drilling machines reached the underground area of the basilica just below the site of the main far day of the building. Service through the tunnel was inaugurated on January 8, 2013. The tracks in the tunnel make use of a system by Edelon Cedra in which the rails are embedded in an elastic material to dampen vibrations. No damage to the Sagrada Familia has been reported to date. 7. Consecration. The main covered dome and organ were installed in mid-2010, the still unfinished leasing building to be used for religious services. This church was ordained by Pope Benedict XVI on November 7, 2010 in front of 6,500 people while another 50,000 people attended Mass from outside the Basilica. More than 100 bishops and 300 priests came directly to give Holy Communion to the congregation. Until now there has been no scheduled Mass at the Basilica, but those who wish to pray can do so in the Chapel of the Holy Sacrament and Penitence. Some Masses held in the Basilica usually require an invitation to attend. The invitation can be downloaded on the Sagrada Familia website. Fire on April 19, 2011, Arson fluid was the trigger for the Basilica fire tragedy in the sacristy area which caused the evacuation of tourists and construction workers. The sacristy was damaged, and it took approximately 45 minutes to extinguish the fire. That's a brief history of the construction of the Sagrada Familia. Hope it's useful. Thank you.